Hey everybody, I'm Ashton with Visit Delaware and today I'm at New Moore's Estate and we are outside in the beautiful gardens and we're going to get a beautiful, wonderful tour of everything there is to see, some of the highlights that you're going to want to check out when you come visit. So we have an excellent guide today, John. So how's it going? Going well. How about you? Pretty good. Um, so we're going to go ahead and see everything there is to see. Unlike normal gardens, we have some, you know, beautiful flowers and trees, but we also have some great structures and fountains, which mm -hmm. you can tell us all about. So let's go ahead and get started. Great, well, welcome to Nemours Estate, and I'm happy to, to show you around. Mr. DuPont, Alfred A. DuPont, who developed the estate, started in 1910 developing the gardens around the, the mansion. And as we start to look over here, you've got gardens that head south. Uh, there's the Four Borders Garden and the Southern Garden. And then looking back up, this way towards that wonderful gold statue that's called Achievement. This is called the Long Walk. We are in really the midpoint of the garden areas. This big structure here uh, with the columns, this uh, amazing structure called the Colonnade, and it really divides the, uh, the garden. It's a monument to, at the one side, Pierre Samuel de Pont de Nemours, and on the other side, Eliathir Irene Dupont, the founder of the Dupont Company. There's at the center of the uh, fountain there is the Statue of Achievement with a man and a woman. That's a 24 karat gold leaf uh, over the, uh, the iron base of the sculpture done by a man named Crenier in 1927 as a gift of Alfred to his wife, Jessie. All right, so we've checked out the gardens, and this is a place we definitely had to stop. It's a Statue of Achievement, and it's beautiful, it's golden, and it's gigantic. So I think we really need to get a selfie with this one. So three, two, one. So this is the Sunken Garden, and this has a very different feel from the, uh, the kind of severity of the, the other garden areas. Yeah. It's, got, uh, these, it's got sea creatures in it. It's got uh, <laughs> spitting uh, nymphs. It's got uh, uh, little forecourt areas with fountains. It's a very different feel, uh, kind of a complement to the, uh, the rest of it. And then looking out at the last thing that they designed, which was the Temple of Love with the goddess Diana uh, a statue standing in there. Take a look inside and you'll see what's so special about it. Like something straight out of Harry Potter. First came in, I thought that was going to be the trunk of it. Uh, it's it's uh, about a hundred years old. It was planted in uh, 1919, as best as we can tell, and it's this remarkable uh, beech tree that get this kind of weeping effect, and the, the limbs actually grow down into the ground and come back out. You just feel like uh, the trees are going to reach out and, and embrace you or uh, or, or spook you. Yeah. I, this We've had storytelling in here with kids, and it's just a wonderful setting for that. Here's what uh, people are especially eager to see. We have these five vintage automobiles dating back to 1921. And this one from 1960, which was the second one off the assembly line for that year. There were only 10 of them produced. The royal family got the first one. Thank you so much for following us on our gardens tour at New Moore's Estate. And we've covered a lot of ground today, but don't let that be too intimidating for you because you can actually take a shuttle tour and catch everything right on the shuttle. So thanks for following us today. We hope you learned a lot and that we hope that you go ahead and plan your visit to come to Nemours really soon.